Hey guys, I read an article this morning and you know, it's amazing. You can have somebody shot with a 357 Magnum or a 44 and they won't put that in the paper. But as soon as somebody is killed with an AR, that is the very first thing you read about. You know, they're putting a stigma on weapons like they do people. You know, all whites are racist, all blacks are criminals. You know, they're doing the same thing with the AR style weapons as they want to call. You know, those, those weapons are not the problem, it's the people. Just like drunk driving, the car is not the problem, it's the person drunk driving. And most of these weapons that they they sell that are AR style weapons, you can have a 30 round magazine. Is usually what they come standard with. Now, this is a magazine from a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson, which is what I carry, okay? This magazine holds 15 rounds. This magazine is the same thing. It holds 15 rounds. That's 30 rounds. That's 30 rounds that is equal to an AR. Now, this is my Smith & Wesson 40 caliber weapon, okay? It is unloaded. It will not fire without a bullet in it. It will not fire without a magazine in it. It will not fire unless I pull the trigger, okay? My finger has to be on that trigger. That's the only way that weapon's gonna fire. I can put a magazine in here, chamber around, leave that weapon laying there, and it will rust before, before it fires because it does not fire by itself. And everyone wants to, wants to you know, put this stigma out there. Well, it's the number of rounds. I can carry the same number of rounds in these two magazines that you can carry in, in, in with one magazine of an AR. And this it's this simple. If this was loaded, okay, I could load that in there. That weapon would now be hot and ready to fire. Now, let's say I went into a shooting situation and I have fired 15 rounds, but I'm not done. I've got another 15 round magazine, okay? I fired this 15 rounds. This weapon's ready to go again. How long did that take me? So that's 30 rounds that I'm gonna be able to get off. Smaller weapon, easier to hide than an AR. And it's, it's honestly just that simple. Because these weapons, they lock back, so when I drop that, when it locks back, I know I'm empty. I drop that magazine, I pop the other magazine in, hit that, and I'm ready to fire again. All within a second. And like I said, this weapon here will probably do more damage than that AR-15 ever will. Because in the hands of the right person, 15 rounds from 20 yards, I can take out 15 people. And that's not bragging. That's just my skill set. Because I combat shoot, I was taught to combat shoot, and that's just the reality of it. And they need to quit putting the stigma on the, on the weapons and start looking at the people. You know, look at why the people did what they did. Look at, look at the reasoning behind it. Look at who's doing the shootings. Look at why they're doing the shootings. 
you know, you want full transparency, then let's have full transparency. Instead of putting the gun out there and the caliber of the gun, because anybody that's ever fired a 223 round or a 556 from an AR, they know it's not a really big hole. I can take this 40 caliber and put hollow points in it and I can make a bigger hole. You know, a rifle is a long range weapon. That's what they're intended for. Long range weapon. And, you know, these handguns with, like I said, with my 40 from 20 yards, I'm a good shot with it. But we need to quit putting the stigma on the, on the weapons and start looking at the shooters and putting the full transparency out there. You know, I mean, put it all out there. How old are they? Are the, what, what is their race? You know, are they Democrat? Are they Republican? Who's doing the shootings? Why are they shooting? Why are they doing the shootings? You know, I could go into more and I may do it at a later date, but that's just something that we all really need to sit and think about. It's not the weapons. It's the people.